Once you have your black and white image saved with the levels, see right here in your layers it shows you what you've done. Um, you're going to touch the brightness and contrast adjustment layer. Click on that and you're going to add some contrast to it. Now I would say adding about up to 60 to 75 would be good. Um, I'm going to do 70 just to be safe. Um, and you just exit out. Then click back to your background layer. Um, and our goal is for the picture to look like this. It's going to be a positive and negative. So black here, white here. You want to try and get as much of the information as you can. So you can still see it's a baby. Um, she has two teeth right there. Um, we might have to touch up her nose after we print it out. But other than that, this is the effect you want. You don't want it to be so black um, or so white that you can't tell that it's a face. So go back to our Photoshop. This is what makes it positive negative. It's the threshold layer under adjustment. So click that button. Whoa. See, this is what I was talking about. Too much black here. There's not enough white. So what you do is you move this. Click on it and drag it so you can start to see. What you can also do is click on this and hold the arrow keys down and keep clicking down with the down arrow because um, it starts to change it a lot. Down, 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 down. Wow, that's a lot. Or you can go a little and go back with the up arrows. So move it to however you like it. See, like this would be too much. You can't tell it's the face. I can see that it's an ear here and maybe some eyes here, but you can't see a mouth. You can't tell that there's fingers or anything like that. So I would move it down until you can definitely see that there are two eyes there. Um, some, and some of the cheeks and your eyebrows, um, your hairline. So I think I'm going to keep mine right here. And I'm just going to click X. Then you're going to save it. Um, file, save as, or shift control S. And then I'm going to put this as threshold. And then click enter. Okay. So you have a Photoshop file of this. And then I want you to do another one. You're going to file, save as, and you're make it file, save as, and you're going to make it a same thing, your name, threshold, and you're going to make it a JPEG file. This is so that I can print it very easily. Um, and I'm going to put this one on my desktop so I know where it is. Marion Threshold, JPEG, save, and it's going to pop up with Mac, um, what, medium. I want you to put it at 8. Okay, and then hit OK. And then it saves it. And then you converted your image to black and white, positive, negative.